Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us on this Monday night. The crippling rat lungworm disease is spreading in Hawaii, according to a new study by the Journal of Wildlife Diseases. And now we learn koki frogs and centipedes on the Big Island are among a number of species that can carry the parasite. Sam Spangler has more tonight's tough story. Sam. Dr. Susan Jarvie of UH Hilo says almost everything they tested for rat lungworm disease came up positive in new research, especially koki frogs. Once just a noise nuisance on Hawaii Island, kokis are a new host of rat lungworm disease, which can cause severe headache and stiffness of the neck, tingling or painful feelings in the skin or extremities, low grade fever, nausea, and vomiting. We tested um, uh, 24 kokis, uh, and 87 percent of them came up positive. If kokis can transmit to humans, still isn't understood. What role, you know, infected <clears throat> frogs have in, in the transmission cycle? You know, I I can't really say, but but rats eat frogs, rats eat centipedes, and so once it gets back into the rat. You're just infecting more and more rats. Centipedes, another pest of the isles, also came up positive. So what about other animals that we actually eat? I have chickens myself, and they're eating slugs all the time, and I've never seen any uh, indication of disease. So I don't know that chickens or, or ducks get sick um, from, from eating the infected slugs. Uh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen any indication of that. Other studies have shown that even crabs can host the parasite. Now, in terms of any, whether it's shrimp or crabs or anything, um, I, I wouldn't eat it raw. You know, I, I would make sure it's really well cooked. But a new over-the-counter treatment, or pinworm medicine, is on the way from UH Hilo student John Jacob. Over-the-counter, cheap. You can buy it in any any drugstore. Um, and it paralyzes the larva. There were eight confirmed cases on Hawaii Island last year and one on Kauai. Jarvie says the parasite can be found on any of the Hawaiian islands. With 94% of rats testing positive on Hawaii Island, it's here to stay. To be here right on the big island um, with these high infection rates, you know, it's just, it's not going to go away. Getting diagnosed for rat lungworm disease is also uncomfortable with the puncture coming in the lower part of your spine. But Dr. Jarvie says a new DNA test as well as antibody tests are also on the horizon. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.